Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about how I stay so productive and how I de-stress. I have 11 of my best tips to share with you guys today. I hope you guys find them helpful. I would love it if you guys would all leave your best tips down below in the description. We can just have a good discussion going on and share the wealth of knowledge with everyone, you know? That was a really weird way of saying it, I'm sorry. But before we get started with this video, I do want to say a quick thank you to Anna Louisa Jewelry for sponsoring this video. Now, if you guys have been around for a while, you know, I don't do sponsorships very very often on this channel just because I really don't believe in promoting products or anything that I'm not like 100% in love with and something that I wouldn't purchase on my own. So I feel like the fact that I'm having a sponsored video like really says a lot about this company and how much I genuinely really love them. So essentially Anna Luisa is an online jewelry company with really high quality materials and designs for reasonable price. All of their pieces are handcrafted with the same materials of like really expensive brands and their designers have worked with some really high-end luxury brands in the past like Alex Alexander Wang, Tori Birch, Ralph Lauren, all of that kind of stuff. So they sent me two of their pieces to try out and to review for you guys. And so the first pair are these big chunky gold hoops that I have on right now. I actually got these pieces in the mail like over a week ago, but I haven't made this video because I wanted to try and like actually wear them every day for a week. So I like really knew if I liked the quality, if I liked the pieces, you know, and I actually can't wear like cheap materials and jewelry because I have really sensitive skin and my ears get like really easily irritated even though I've had them pierced since I was like eight if I wear cheap earrings for a single day they'll get like really irritated and infected and gross and I can very happily say these earrings my ears are very happy with I haven't had a single problem so I got this pair and then I also got these little dainty white gold hoops that I can like put in a clip of me wearing so you guys can see them. If you watch my vlogs, you've seen me wearing them because I've been wearing them like every day. And what I really love about both of these is you can dress them up or you could dress them down. I've been wearing both of these just casually in my everyday life. But then also the other weekend, I had the president's ball here at my school, which is this like really formal event. Girls wear like long dresses. It's really fancy. And so I wore these big gold hoops with my dress and everyone complimented them and it worked really, really well. I was actually FaceTiming my mom the other night and she saw that and so I like told her about them because she asked and she was like oh well that would be like a good Christmas present like hint hint so now I think I'm gonna have to go on their website and buy something for her for Christmas because she really liked them so yeah they actually have a coupon code for me to give you guys you should definitely take advantage of this if you want to get like a Christmas present like I'm going to for your mom or your girlfriend or whatever I know both of the pieces that I got from them are earrings but they have all different kinds of jewelry they have earrings and bracelets and necklaces and rings some of their rings are really cute I might go buy some for myself but yeah I'm gonna leave the link to their website down below so you can go explore their constantly adding new pieces on there and my discount code is katiew10 i'll have that down below also and that gets you ten dollars off not ten percent ten dollars that's like the price of a meal so you can go buy yourself something nice and then you can go use the money you just saved to get like chick-fil-a or something also i just want to show you how adorable the box that they came in is because like I don't know, packaging matters to me. I think it's really like cute and it's a nice touch. I just think this box is like so cute. And then the actual jewelry comes in these like velvet pouches that are really soft and cute. Okay, so let's get into the video now. So some of these tips are how to be more productive and some of them are how to de-stress, but I think the two kind of go hand in hand because when you're really stressed out, you're not gonna be super productive. So my first tip might seem kind of self-explanatory, might seem kind of weird, but I actually think it's the most important one. And that is to get enough sleep, but also to get good quality sleep. This is something that I've 100% learned about myself. When I am tired, I am useless. Or if I had like bad quality sleep, I'm just, not productive the next day and i'm like a super productive person i like to think but i know if i don't get enough sleep the next day is just gonna be shot and so i found a couple of things that really work well for me to make sure i get enough sleep and i get good quality sleep i've worked really hard this semester to get on like a regular sleep schedule so i go to bed at the same time every single night no matter if it's a weekday or a weekend and i wake up at the same time every single day no matter when like my first class is that day or whatever i get up at the same time i get up at like 10 30 i wake up around 7 or 8 and i also know that i like wake up a lot in the middle of the night so i've given myself that extra like little cushion of time to account for any time that I actually spend awake during the night. If you have a sleep tracker, like a Fitbit or something, it can like show you your trends and like how much sleep you're actually getting and that's really helped me. And so that's why I know I need to kind of give myself a little extra time because the amount of time that I'm spending in my bed, I'm not like asleep the entire time. And as far as getting good quality sleep, the first thing is I've set a cutoff point for my caffeine. I know if I have caffeine after 2 or 3 p.m., 
I might still be able to fall asleep pretty easily, but the quality of sleep I get isn't very good. So I don't have any caffeine after 2 or 3 p.m. And I also try not to look at any screens like right before I go to bed. I know everyone always says that, but this has actually made such a difference. So I don't look at my TV. I don't look at my phone. That half hour before bed, I like stretch or I meditate or I read a book or it's just something other than looking at a screen. And it makes such a difference. I fall asleep faster and I just have way better sleep. I cannot stress sleep enough because you're just setting up the whole rest of your day by having a good night's sleep. So the second tip kind of piggybacks off of that idea and that is just your overall health. Honestly, I think your health should be your first priority because again, that just kind of sets up the rest of your life. So make sure you're drinking enough water, make sure you're fueling your body with good healthy foods or at least giving yourself enough food. I know when I'm stressed out and I'm really busy, I like forget to eat because I just have too much going on and that's not good. Give your body fuel, make sure you're drinking enough water, hydrate yourself, get up, get some movement in your day, stretch your body, just take care of your overall self. And like, honestly, you're just gonna feel like less stressed because of this. The next tip I'm gonna talk about is specifically for productivity. And this is strategic time management and prioritization. So basically you might have like a million things that you need to do in the day, but you know there's only like three or so that are dire. And so what I do is I write down everything I wanna do in the day. And I usually make two separate to-do lists. I have like my life to-do list, like wash the dishes, do my laundry, vacuum the floor, that kind of thing. And then like work related, school related to-do lists, like finish that paper, meet with a group, blah, 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 blah. And also next to all of these tasks, I have a due date next to them just so I can like visually see what's coming up, what's due first, that kind of thing. And once you have everything written down, you can really look at it and decide like, what's the most important? What's gonna take me the longest? What is worth the most in a class? And really decide what needs to get done first what's going to take the most time what do you need to have like the most energy for and start with those and it's not that you like don't need to get everything done but if you're focusing on the things that matter the most you're not going to be like stressing out over an assignment that's worth like one percent of your grade like focus on the thing that's worth 20 percent of your grade and then if you can't get the thing that's worth one percent done like your grade's not gonna suffer that much prioritize pick the most important things start with them you'll also just feel so relieved if you get the big things out of the way first my number four tip is to write everything on on a calendar not just like in a notebook or something something that like hangs on your wall and you visually see it every single day this is so you can see like what's coming up and you can plan ahead so what I do at the beginning of every semester is I pull out all of my different syllab syllabuses syllabi and I write like all of the major deadlines test days everything on like a big calendar that hangs on my wall and so then I can see like the third Friday of this month, I have three papers due, and instead of freaking out like two days beforehand trying to write all of them, I can plan ahead. So I think just kind of like mapping out, even if you only do it like one month at a time, just mapping it out ahead of time and having it hanging somewhere that you can see just helps you kind of plan ahead and be aware of things that are gonna come up soon instead of being like, taken by surprise like oh my god I had no idea I had a test on Monday that kind of thing my next tip is related to that and that is to have visual reminders so for me I write things that I need to remember down on sticky notes and I just like stick them all over my room so I see them and I'm like constantly reminded of them and then I also have a whiteboard that I write big due dates that are coming up so I just constantly see them and I'm reminded so even if you're like not consciously thinking about it subconsciously you've seen this and you know that you need to get it done I don't know if this one's making sense number six is for de-stressing and this is figure out your most efficient way to blow off steam so this can be completely different for everybody I'm not gonna tell you you have to like go to the gym or whatever personally that's what works for me working out just like really helps de-stress me it puts me in a better mood I just really need that for my like mental sanity in a day but for some people they might not enjoy that so maybe for you it's watching Netflix or whatever basically just find something that feels like a break it feels fulfilling it like recharges you so if Netflix isn't that if Netflix is just like a rabbit hole that you fall down and you waste like three hours doing it like don't do that. Find something that really does feel like a break and it feels fulfilling and set a timer on it. So like, I'm only gonna watch one episode on Netflix. I'm only gonna go to the gym for one hour and like plan in that break for your day. And make sure it's something that's like actually going to feel like a break and it's not just procrastinating and it's not just wasting your time. Number seven is clean up your space. I just find when I have a clean room, I am just so much more productive. I can like think better. I just have a clear head. It just changes my entire day it changes my mood it just 
changes everything. It's so helpful. It's not that I particularly like enjoy cleaning. I just know when I have a clean room, I'm going to be able to focus more. My next tip is to meditate. So this one requires patience, not just like the actual act of doing it, but also like you're not going to feel like life changing after doing it one time. You're not going to get like the big results after one time. It's the habit that creates those results, it's continuing to practice it. But like once this becomes part of your daily routine, you're gonna start looking forward to it and you're just gonna notice such a change in just the way that you think and the way that you're able to manage your stress. Like I cannot emphasize how much this has helped me. Like it's really hard at the beginning, don't get me wrong, but like once you get good at it, it's life-changing. I use the app Headspace, so I would totally recommend checking that out if you haven't already. I pay for a subscription for it, but I know they have a lot of free things that you can try on the app so you don't have to pay for it. Like the entire first beginner's pack is free, so you can try it out, see if you like it before you like actually buy anything. This video is not sponsored by that app. I just really, really like it. Would totally recommend, and it's very, very helpful if you've never meditated before. It's like very beginner friendly, very user friendly, and it's very helpful to kind of like teach you the basics and make it seem more manageable. Number nine, you guys will know how much these are important to me if you watch my vlogs because I have them all the time and that is a self-care night. And this is however it looks for you, like do whatever you like to do. Personally, a self-care night for me, I will like pour myself a glass of wine, I put a face mask on, I'm like watching a movie or something or I have like a little dance party alone in my room and it's just something that just makes me feel so good and so happy and it gives me something to look forward to. So if you know you're gonna do that, tonight like that gives you something to look forward to after you finish all of your work like make a deal for yourself like you're not going to do that unless you finish this work and it gives you something to work towards and then also the actual act of doing it it's not just like wasting time it's something that like really recharges you and like makes you ready for your next day and you feel like yeah i've had my me time like now i'm ready to get back into the swing of things number 10 is to work in bursts figure out what your maximum time limit for being productive is like personally i can't sit there for like 10 hours and work and be productive the entire time i'm just like not capable of working without a break for that much time so for me i know the maximum amount of time that i can sit somewhere and be productive is two and a half hours by the end of like two and a half hours i'm really starting to get distracted and like restless and i'm not being productive anymore and so i set up my work days and stuff in two and a half hour chunks i'm gonna like work at my desk for two and a half hours and then i give myself a break and then this one kind of pairs with tip number 11 and that is to change your location i know that if i like change my setting or if I force myself to go sit somewhere else I don't know why this helps me so much but then I am so much more productive so if I'm like sitting at my desk in my room for two and a half hours and then I go have lunch as like a break then I'll go to the library and I can sit there for another two and a half hours and I'm like just as productive I don't know what it is about changing your space changing your location going somewhere that you like only use as like a productive space it really really helps I don't know if I'm explaining this well if you guys watch my vlogs you know when I need to be productive I go somewhere else I go to the library I go sit at Starbucks. I just go somewhere with the intent of work and then when I sit down I know this is my productive time, this is my productive space, I'm only gonna do my work right now. So yeah those are my 11 tips on how to be more productive and how to manage your stress. If you have any of your own tips that you think would be helpful to people please leave those down below in a comment. I would love to see them. Also make sure you go check down in the description for the Ana Luisa links if you're interested in checking them out. I would totally recommend looking at their website and using that coupon code to save you a little bit of money. Christmas is coming up and I promise you like as a girl any girl would love that as a gift. Like I would be over the moon if someone got me something from their site. Anyway thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If you haven't already I would love it if you would subscribe and stick around and I will just see you in my next video very very soon. Bye!